The main evening news is here on BBC One in five minutes. That's after a party political broadcast by the Conservative Party. Britain is the strongest major economy in Europe. The fastest growth, the lowest taxes, and the lowest unemployment. According to the independent IMF, recent economic performance has been enviable. Since 1992, output growth has rebounded, unemployment declined markedly, and inflation been brought to the lowest levels in a generation. The OECD said recently, the United Kingdom's policy has paid off in better jobs and an unemployment record better than in many of the continental European countries. The French newspaper Le Figaro stated, the famous flexibility of the British labour market is not a myth. The country holds the European record for the lowest number of strikes. According to the London Business School, in terms of growth, the UK stands out as the brightest of the major European economies at present. Last month, Goldman Sachs were quoted as saying, the housing market is strengthening, household real income growth is strong, mortgage rates are close to the lowest level for 30 years. The chairman of BMW said, Great Britain is currently the most attractive country among all European locations for producing cars. The chairman of BASF, a leading German manufacturer. It makes perfect sense to invest in Britain. It is the best place in Europe. Other European countries have more high spending, high taxing systems than conservative Britain. They follow the Euro social model. The average tax level in Europe is 41%. In Britain, it's 35%. The average unemployment of major European countries is over 3 million and rising. But here in Britain, it's under 2 million and falling. In Europe, the average number of strike days a year is over two and a half million. In Britain, it's nearly half that, the lowest levels for 100 years. We can all take pride in what we've achieved. But, just as Britain's doing better than Europe, Labour want to follow their system. New Labour would copy Euro-social policies. New Labour would give up Britain's veto in social and industrial policy and sign the social chapter. So our economy would become more like other European countries. If Labour copied these Euro policies, Britain's taxes, strikes, and unemployment would move towards the Euro average. And if Britain ended up with the same level of tax as the Euro average, the average British household would pay £2,300 extra tax a year. And if we had the same level of strikes as the Euro average, we'd suffer over 2 million more strike days a year. And if our unemployment went up to the average of the major European countries, there'd be one and a half million more British people on the dole. New Labour, Euro taxes, Euro strikes, Euro job losses. That party political broadcast by the Conservative Party will be shown again with subtitles on BBC Two tonight at 10.25.